Welcome back to Inside Boxing's Throwdown. My name is Steve Johnson, Aurelio Martinez. This episode, we're going to talk about the upcoming fights that everyone should be looking forward to. Uh, one, one we're going to start off that's going to be next weekend. It's going to be September 5th. It's going to be at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino down there in Hollywood, Florida. It's going to be one of, one of Radio's favorite, guy, favorite guys, heavyweight Shannon Briggs. He's taking on Michael Moroni. Take it, Lel. You know what? I, I, Shannon Briggs, always I've had the utmost respect for this man. This man brings it. He brings it to, to, to the table. He goes in there, gives it all. I like him. He comes and he comes to fight. And I'll tell you what, fight he does. I mean, you remember the fight when he went out and fought uh, the Klitschko, and uh, when he almost got killed. Uh, yes, and unfortunately he he didn't. Uh, all his person, everything went to to the medical expenses and stuff, and he he actually came back uh, penniless and probably ended up having to pay just for the uh, medical expenses. And that that goes to show because he stood in there. He stood in there and fought because his whole me mentality was, I'm going to fight. You know, you're going to have to, pretty much you're going to have to kill me to mm -hmm. get me out of it. I'm not, where he very well could have just, you know, when, when, when he got hit or something, he could have very well just said, done. Picked up his paycheck and came back home with a lot of money. But that's not Shannon Briggs. That's not Shannon Briggs. That's why I'm saying, where's all these other guys that should be fighting him? Like, um... The, the new champions that are that are up and coming and the guys that want to want to prove a point like Deontay yeah. Wilder, oh, Wilder like and so what? Uh, Ryan, where are they? Bye okay. Bye Jennings. Okay. Give him a call. Shannon's not going to say no. Mm, he sure won't. He's, he's not going to say no. He's waiting on the call. He's waiting for the call. But anyhow, he's going to be fighting uh, this this coming weekend. Michael Murray. Wait, 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 let's back up. One thing I want to say, just because you mentioned it, you know that fight he had with, with Vitaly Klitschko. Yeah. Okay. Vitaly helped out with his medical bills. He, he well, the Klitschko's, they're, they're like... They're good uh, guys. That's they are, right. You know, they're, they're for all the guys. people that are haters of the Klitschko's, they are guys like that, you know. And so now that uh, Shannon is after Vladimir, you know, he said uh, um, he, he's really pushing for that fight. Yeah, well, yeah. So I guess what he's just trying to do with this fight with Moroni is just stay busy because Moroni is a guy that three of his last four fights, he's been knocked out. Okay, Moroni's only 29 years old. You can remember him. He uh, fought... Or one of our guys here from Colorado, Devereaux Williamson, and Devereaux Williamson stopped him three years ago. So this guy poses no threat at all to Shannon, unless you know something has happened with Shannon. And, and, you know, and I think that's I have, think that's what we need to see. We need to see it. Shannon in the ring. There you go. We need to see uh, how if he if he's still the same Shannon and he comes out there. But yeah, I'm sure he will be. But like I say, we'll we'll find out. We'll you know, find out this weekend. We okay? got a thing too because remember Shane Mosley's 43 years old fought this weekend. Next weekend, Shannon Riggs, and he's 43 years well, old. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Thank goodness for the senior citizens in boxing because Lord knows these youngsters ain't doing anything. One of the guys, real quick, because we got to go back to the next fight, but real quick, one of the youngsters, they're all into this money, so they're all into picking and choosing. Yes. Okay. One of my favorites, one time Thurman. Man, I thought he would. Now he's sitting back picking and turning. Okay, Floyd wants me to fight this guy. He got to give me $20 million. Oh, this man. and that. Fight, okay, but let's 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 that's another segment, okay? Yeah. Let's go on and talk about this Miguel Cotto. Oh, show me some passion on there, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Because you're hundred percent right, you know. Let's, All of this uh, pick and choose crap, you yeah. know. But let's move on and let's and go like to Miguel Cotto and uh, and and Canelo, and Canelo Alvarez. Alvarez. Here we got Miguel Cotto, another you can say veteran in the game. And I'm gonna tell you what, I've I've said it in the, the, the previous episode. I think he's gonna go in there and take it. I, I, I'm, I'm, he's, he's, the, he's my, my uh, choice to win this fight. I think he's going to show uh, Canelo that he's not, he's not there to be washed up, and he's going to take Cotto. Cotto's going to take Alvarez into the deep waters because everybody knows Alvarez uh, gets tired. Okay. No, everybody does so, not. So, Stop so, it. so anyway, everybody everyone that's watched that. his fights. Everybody but anyway, <clears throat> but anyway, let's go ahead and talk about that fight because you yes. know what? I'm really getting excited. As a matter of fact, I'll be in Vegas for that fight. I'll be there to cover that fight. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to be there, and I'll take our camera. We'll take our crew out there. I think we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to we're going to make the <clears throat> trip out there. We're going to get this one, yeah. out, you know, uh, uh, because uh, I, and this is really good for uh, us because I think you're insane. I think Canelo Alvarez is uh, the younger kid, the stronger kid, and the more determined right now. Um, Miguel Cotto, I think this is a payday for him, a big payday. He actually politicked for the big tech payday. He's got that coming. But more important, 
than that, okay? The Puerto Rico-Mexican rivalry, okay? Alive and well. We do not have to worry about this fight be boring at all. That's not good. It's going to be a fight. And radio, I'm thinking <clears> that this fight might be, and I hope I'm right, I think this might be the, the greatest of all time up until now of Puerto Rico Mexican rivalry. Well, you know what? I, I that I don't know. I don't know if I would go that far. Well, because because there's been some there's been some I, I and, and and you guys that are that have, that have been watching uh, boxing for as long as back, you go back into the eighties <laughs> and 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 that that bout between Wilfredo Gomez and uh, and the late Salvador Sanchez. Yes, it's going to be hard to match something like that up. I mean that's that's and then don't forget you have the uh, um, well he wasn't Mexican but. We'll, we'll say he's Mexican, okay? Roberto Duran, when he fought, uh, when he fought, uh, um, God, it, it slips me. But the guy that uh, died, and, and Roberto went, uh, yes, uh, um, um, to, to to the hospital to see him. Yes, uh, I, I'm, I talk agree. about some wars. So, so this is going to be one of them. It's going to be on that caliber. The Cotto Alvarez is going to be on that caliber. I don't know if it's going to match up for that. It will. It will on the Cotto side. Okay, we just have to see what Alvarez is going to bring to the table because Alvarez has a way of getting that yellow streak, man. Oh, I mean, Jesus he's got you he's got a way. I, I'm not he's gonna got a, we're not going to let him do that, folks. Alvarez has a way you know to crumbling under pressure. Okay, and and he's going to have to show me that he's matured. What he's going he's going to have to show to? me he's going to have to show me that he matured enough. And not crumble under pressure. Where has he crumbled say, under pressure? Who, who? Where has he not? No, except, no, no. Except, Austin, say is except Austin Trout. That's the only one that he actually looked where he was dominant. Are you insane? Hmm. The last fight he had with, um, um, oh, why am I having brain lock? With um, our boy uh, Ann Wolf's boy. Um, oh come on now! You're talking about you're talking about uh, yeah. I, uh, um, um, <laughs> The guy, Ann Wolf's boy, okay? Yeah. I, I, I don't know why I can't call his name, but are you saying he crumbled? Are you that saying, was not a fight. Are you insane? That was not the... That, that was a fight. Dang, what was, is his yeah, name? Everyone knows, who we ta- everyone knows who we're talking ever, about. If there was ever going to say a fight, that was a fight. I mean, that was on the same line of Hagler and... And and Hearns, God, I mean, his name? man, My three goodness. rounds they went. I okay, mean, but it, let it, me tell you what: if Alvarez, he's from Houston, Texas, if Alvarez, Alvarez lets this man, and I know who you're talking about, and everyone out there knows who we're talking about, but if Alvarez let that man, that rookie that doesn't have the experience, rookie, to go in there and 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 pressure him and hit him with them, what's Cotto going to do to him? What's Cotto going to do to him? Do you think Cotto can stand under the pressure that those two went through? Cotto can't stand under that kind of, camp, kind of pressure. Cotto brings, brings the pressure. If Cotto comes, Cotto brings the pressure. Cotto brings the pressure. Okay, the same pressure. Okay, the fight will in the same way. He will be. He will. Oh know, no! Canelo no. wins that fight. Oh no! Oh, you no. think you do you oh, actually no. think that Miguel Cotto is stronger than Canelo Alvarez? Moving forward, yes. No, I don't care. I don't care if they're moving upside bring down. In, bring in the do pressure. Yes. He, okay. Uh, well, I the, mean, if they're going to arm wrestle, maybe not. <laughs> okay. If they're going to if they're going to lift if they're going to lift weights in the thing, maybe not. But you got to mix that with your boxing skills, okay? This is going to be good because they're getting ready to start their four city tour here. That's right. I haven't named the cities that they're going to do yet, but they're going to have their four city, city tour to get started. <laughs> now we only have a little more than a minute left, so uh, we, we have, have to, to touch move on. A bit. We have to move on to our boy Berto, uh, which which is another one like uh, a gift. James Kirkland. James Kirkland was James fighter, Kirkland. Okay? James Kirkland has no business fighting any world champion. Oh, okay? no, any he world doesn't. You better stay away from James. Kirkland. James Kirkland I'm needs to needs to needs stay to. Away from him. The James Kirkland needs to earn his right to get in he there. Earned, he's his, earned it. Everybody right knows he that. Got he, he, yeah, he got knocked out. Yeah, but not everybody knocked him out. They got but knocked out. The other fight that we have that will be coming up, and everybody's, you know, it's really not worth talking. I'll let you talk about it. Okay, Floyd Mayweather handpicked Andre Berto, a gift to give Andre. Everyone knows. Andre Berto talking about crumbling. There you go. Talk about crumbling. Now, okay. Now you Berto Berto got he don't got a yellow streak. He's got his whole back is yellow. Okay? No, 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 don't Come don't say oh, it's yellow. Just say he crumbles. Pressure, he crumbles because when the pressure gets down, and you know, the only thing that's gonna make this fight any any anywhere close to being good is you're not gonna see Floyd come at him. You're you not gonna not, you're man. not gonna see Floyd pin their mirrors back. And and uh, and do what Floyd does. You're yeah. not going to see that. Floyd is going to take this fight as a fight to entertain the boxing public, and I that's agree. what it's going to be. I agree. Okay. 
I agree. So Barrow don't have to worry about this. He's not he's not fighting who's the Mexican guy that the other guy that quits. Uh Victor Ortiz? Uh, or Ortiz. Okay. <laughs> it's not them two fighting. You gotta put them in again. But but anyway, this will be an exciting fight because Floyd Weathers not gonna pin his ears Floyd back. Floyd Weathers. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. I love it. Floyd Mayweather is not going to pin his ears back. This is going to be a fight that Floyd is going to put together to entertain the boxing fans. That's all it's going to be. Okay. So okay. Well, you expect to go to the distance? Yeah. Floyd's going to care? Oh, okay. yeah. All yeah. right. We'll see how it comes out. Okay. So that's the end of this episode. <laughs> as usual, guys, as you can see, we stumbled a little bit. But like we say, our fighters, <laughs> after you got to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep going. Hey, okay. thank you guys for all the emails. I mean, yes. it really means something to us that uh, we get the emails and we get the uh, the uh, the compliments uh, about. Like I say, we're not we're not we're not paid HBO staff. We're not Showtime uh, uh, employees. Uh, uh, we're not uh, uh, any of these guys that that do this for a living and they get we paperwork and they get someone in the ear to give them stats and stuff. We're back boxing fans, just like you. That's okay? right. All right. So. Come back and see us for a next week episode, and we'll break it down again. And wait till we get closer to this Miguel Cotto fight. You got, I know you guys are all going to be leaning toward Cotto. I mean, Cotto is... <laughs> we'll Man, he's getting me okay. fired up <laughs> talking about <laughs> this. So anyway. So, till next time. Keep your hands up, baby. Keep up, baby. <laughs>